Hey everybody, I'm back. So, I have something kind of fun that I've been waiting to share with you all. Um, so, okay, I got this, or rather I was given this when I visited a friend um, in Portland. Um, I went to a thrift store, um, and there's a big Goodwill there, and I went there and was just kind of perusing, and what did I find in just like the random stuff? I found this. It's by Sun Squad, I guess. Um, it says that it inflates to approximately 17 and a half inches diameter or 44.4 centimeters. That's a nice number. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I got it for like, oh yeah, there it is. Two bucks. Um, but then also today I have something else here that I kind of have been really waiting to share with you all and to kind of share with myself too, I guess. Um, I have this dinosaur rider, so I'm excited. Um, oh, quick reminder, if you have not subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't left the video a like yet, you can wait and see if you actually want to or not or whatever, but it's always appreciated is all I'm saying. Because I will say too, all of y'all's support has really helped keep me coming back. Like, ooh, repeatedly. Oh, I'm excited. This is, so this looks like a fun one. This looks like a really fun one. I'm excited. <laughs> I've been waiting for this one for, like, way too long. Um, but, yeah. It is actually bigger than I had anticipated when I first found it. Like, when I first found it, I think that I was anticipating it to be, like, a much smaller beach ball. But, so far, I'm really impressed. Like, look at these little clouds on there. It's so cute. So cute. 10 out of 10 would recommend on Yelp. I don't think it works that way, but we'll pretend it does for today. <laughs> this one seems to have a good mechanism for uh, catching the air so it doesn't just completely like deflate while I'm blowing it up. Um, some of them, what I've noticed is some inflatables are really, really irritating because I have to like push air in with my lungs at the very moment that I'm about trying to like close it because otherwise it just all escapes. It's wild and it's very difficult. Those are the challenging ones. This one is actually very well made. I mean, I love how this rainbow is inside this ball, this beach ball. That's really cool. Like, these ones, when it has especially, like, all these bright colors um, trapped inside, like, a clear plastic, I don't know why, but it always... Well, maybe it's probably just core memories from, like, growing up or whatever. But, like, I can taste these colors, for one. That's my synesthesia. But for another, it just always brings me back to, like popsicles and summer and you know floaties and you know being a kid again and whatever and to be completely honest that's something I really love about like the color uh, the colorful like rainbow scheme when it's trapped inside like this I love it I love it so much Just so cute and then you can see like there's actually the blue inside here is actually see-through as well on the bottom in there it's kind of really really cool
this takes a surprising amount of air. <laughs> like, surprising amount of air. I am astonished. Astonished. Completely. It's beautiful, though. Oh, I love how the bottom is, like, not just solid blue, but it's got, like, all of this looking like waves, you know? Like, really nice touch. Really nice touch. I gotta admit. Kind of like the clear blue in the bottom there with all the clouds on the inside printed too. Like, this is a high quality, nice, nice beach ball. I love it. Um, so yeah, out of all of them that I've done so far, I think this one's like becoming one of my favorites very, very quickly. Plus, it was secondhand, which is actually better. Like, brand new, but secondhand, you know? It's so much better, because then it's, like, not all this plastic waste, and I can't help but feel guilty about that, but at the same time, like, inflatables <laughs> are wonderful. So it's really nice when I can find good quality secondhand inflatables. Like, I love it so much. We're almost there. Right. Right? I will say it feels like it's a little off on the you see what I mean? I love it. I mean I know I maybe I was a little ahead of the game. Maybe it's not quite as high quality as I had hoped. Like, it's great. It's awesome. But I will admit it's got, you know, it's got its issues. I don't know if it has too much air in it. Is it overfilled? Is it overfilled? Or, or not? Maybe it's overfilled, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, very weird. But anyways, I do love it. I just, I don't know that I could actually say that it's my favorite now that it's fully inflated. You know what I mean? I love it, I love it. But it is just a little, do you see what I mean? Does anyone, okay, anyone with like a really good eye or OCD in my audience, please tell me, doesn't this look just like a little, a little off? Like, you know what I mean? Still awesome, still wonderful, but uh, I will admit, I will admit, I feel like I was jumping to conclusions a little when I was like, this is amazing. I mean, it's amazing, but it's, I'm glad I didn't spend more than two dollars on it to be perfectly honest because I love it but I think I would have been heavily disappointed if I bought this brand new but oh it's from Target okay. but it's still adorable it's still adorable I just it's it's fucking with my brain oh sorry yeah I'm trying not to curse as much especially on video but anyways it's gonna happen so that's that's the case but I am actually trying to limit my cursing just because we're doing balloons here. You know what I mean? I don't have to bring the uh, the edge into everything that I do. I mean, not completely. I don't. I don't have to go there. And also, it's a bad habit. I've been known to curse like a sailor, and uh, I'm kind of over it. Anyways, <laughs> on that note, by the way, I've been trying to like just ramble more, like just talk more on these videos because. I'm tired of getting um, my videos demonetized, and also you all seem to really be okay with me just like talking about, I, f I don't know, maybe I am talking about something sometimes, I, I might just forget ADHD, but I feel like I'm basically talking about nothing half the time, but it's all good. Y'all seem to be cool with it, 
Um, the algorithm seems to like it. Um, YouTube itself seems to be more of a fan, so we'll go with it. Now, we're gonna go for this dinosaur. I'm excited. I, I don't know about any of you, but I absolutely love dinosaurs. Like, I adore dinosaurs. I mean, I'll be honest here, though, too, um... I've been having to refresh all of my dino knowledge because I guess I was mentally ill enough for a while there that I forgot how much I loved dinosaurs. These things happen. These things happen. Um, it doesn't say what kind of a dino it is, though. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. I feel like it almost looks like a giant iguana, but I guess iguanas are sort of dinosaurs. And I got this one. This one is by... It just says kids stuff. Um, I'll give you a look at the box. But, uh, oh, Fun Zone Inflatables Experts North America. I'm going to just show that up on there in case any of you are looking for this in particular. I've been trying to get better at that. I know that some of you are trying to find these specific ones. And that can always be a challenge. This was like, I think I found it randomly at... Right, Aid? I want to say. Like a year, over a year ago. Okay, spit all over that back there. Damn. Oh my god. It's got a big mouthpiece. See, that one's doing that thing. I knew it would. I knew it would. All right, so those do inflate. I was wondering. I had a feeling that they might. I just was like, I was not sure. That's what I mean. I gotta like plug it right away. Oh man. The real thing will be trying to keep my kitty away. Say hello, cat. Yeah. Although she's gotten a lot more respectful, I would say, of my inflatables. It's just that she's still a cat and she does have her moments when she gets a little overexcited or whatever and accidentally pops something and I tell you what that is tragedy it's tragedy hey mm? 
You're a good girl. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, we've got this guy who is actually exceptionally awesomely cool. Like, look at that guy. Look at that guy. Right? I have no idea what kind of dinosaur he is. Anyways. Whew. So, did that. I'm tempted to blow up another uh, inflatable here, but I kind of feel like I should leave this video as is and um, come back later with this giant beach ball. Ooh, I just did that. Yeah. All right. So on that note, I hope that y'all have an incredible rest of your day. Backsplash, my goodness. And <laughs> I just want to thank you all again for being here. Um, this has been super awesome and very fun. And yeah, if you can tell, I've been working on my hair. The sides are better than the top. The top I need to do again. It's too brassy looking. So I need to re-bleach the top. But anyways, it's my first time bleaching my hair at home. Be kind to me, please. <laughs> but honesty is also appreciated. It's brassy, right? It's brassy. Like the sides are not as bad, but the top is brassy as... So anyways... There we go. We've got Dino here. We've got Beach Ball here. And, uh, yeah. So I guess that's it for the day. Y'all have a beautiful one. And, uh, yeah. Like, subscribe. Please comment. I love your comments. I love getting all of your comments. Like, whenever I get a comment on my YouTube channel, like, my YouTube studio app, like, lets me know. And pretty much, like, pretty much every time. I do miss some of them. I will be honest. Some of them don't pop up they hide some of them but like whenever I get one of those like I'm like oh my gosh and then I go start trying to look and see if I've got any more comments and it's just really nice to hear from you all and um I really appreciate your support y'all have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll catch you later bye